Hi guys, today I'm going to be making the crazy hair painting. So for that, you need a paper, a pencil, crayons if you want, um, uh, watercolors, a straw, and uh, a cup of water. So for that, <clears throat> you'll need a paper and a pencil. You'll use it. Find the half, but don't draw the half with the pencil. Um, find, um, draw it uh, on the a little higher than the half, but very lightly. So right now I'm doing it very lightly. Okay, here I made it very lightly, and then, and then again very lightly make a big U like this, and then make your shoulders. So we're making a human right now. And then if you want, you can make some arms like this, but still do it lightly. And uh, you can make the eyes, but still do it lightly. Everything you're doing right now, you have to make it lightly with the pencil. Oh, I'm just drawing it right now. And then if you want on the t-shirt, you can draw some designs right now I, on my t-shirt I'm doing some stripes and I'm almost done with the stripes and I'm done okay so right here then you um then you take your crayon use it use a black wait let me try to find my black okay found my black and then trace it over but not the very light line because we're going to be erasing that in the end so draw it by using a black crayon. Okay. It's kind of hard. This crayon is a little fat, but it'll still be good. And then just draw the, and then just trace the shoulders. So basically you're just tracing with the, um, the black crayon's job is just to trace the, the the lines except for the very light line and then I'm just tracing my stripes Okay, I'm almost done with the stripes. Oh, my crayon is very light to wait about. Okay, I'm just two more, two more. Done. Now it's the best part. Now it's the part we, we got the water paint. So you get your paintbrush, but remember, um, wait, first I'll tell you and then I'll tell you what I'm going to say. So, whatever colors you want, actually, you, you might use all the colors. That's why just um, dip in some water and put some, and make the um, paint um, soft by, by just dripping water in it. Drops of water. And... Uh, We'll just do that quickly, but don't, like when you start painting, do not swirl it. That's, we're gonna do that when we start painting. Uh, I'm almost done. And then this is gonna be very cool. If you wanna make a rainbow, you can use rainbow colors. You, it doesn't matter what colors you, you use, you can make you can use any colors you want but don't use black because black we draw the lines 
Uh, but if you want, you can use black. But that might not look that good. Okay, I'm done putting the water. Now, remember, your paintbrush is not going to touch it, touch the paper. So this is how I'll do it. So this is where the water paint and the straw and this might get a little messy. But, so dip in any color. Right now I'm using this light green. So like this, you do it like this. Wait for it to drip, or if it's not dripping, you can just get a lot more water, and then it'll be more wet, and then it'll drip more. Oh yeah, okay, now it dripped. Now comes the straw part. We have to, don't do it like, then it won't blow. Put in your side of your mouth, like, like this, and then blow, look. Saw that my hair is spreading so here I am done with the painting now I'm going to show you the next part so take your black crayon or you can use any other you can color the eyes what color you want I want to color it black this I have black eyes and now do not color the face we want to keep it, let's keep it white. But you'll color the t-shirt. I'm gonna color mine stripes, just like I draw it. I don't know what yours is gonna be. I'm gonna color the first one red. I'm gonna make this a pattern. I'm gonna use red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Like that, and blue. Red, blue, I want to show you something. These are some, this is the one I made earlier. See, this one, it's more paint, and it's more cooler. Yeah, I'll just finish this. Let me finish this. And if you're, if you're like when the paper dries, sometimes when it's wet, um, on paper, paper is wet, it might get curled up like mine got curled up a bit. Then after the paint dries, you can put a heavy book on it for 24 hours and then it will be dried. And then, and then it will be all straight. But on this one, I didn't, it was a hard paper, but this one's not that hard paper. I didn't need to put book a book because, because I didn't put that much water on this, on this one. It wasn't that wet. And I'm almost done with this. So guys, here I am done. Bye.